guys, me, host Super Star. Thank you very much for tuning in. Oh, my God. It's Captain America. This is the Abomination Batway figure. Uh, it's from the Game of a series from the brand new Avengers game that's coming out. And this is one of the last figures I'll be reviewing from this line. Uh, I don't think I'm getting the rest of them. Uh, the ones that I've reviewed so far are Marvel, or Captain Marvel. Uh, Iron Man and then Captain America. I'm not getting Miss Marvel. I'm not bothered about Mac One. I'm not bothered about Rage or Marvel's leader. Uh, they're just not characters that make me want to buy them. So I'm going to leave those there and I'm not building the Bath Wave. So yeah, this is the last figure from the wave that I'll be reviewing. But it is based on Steve Rogers' Captain America from the new version of the game. A very different take on Cap from what, what I've seen here. Look, if you look at his outfit, it's very like, SWAT in, like, inspired. Very police officer-ish. I quite like it. And he's got the American flag on his arm as well, which I quite like. Looks quite a realistic version of the costume, to be honest. I quite like it. And it's got a write-up on the back as well, which also states... Injected with experimental super soldier serum, Steve Rogers has the peak potential of strength, endurance, and dexterity. Let's break him out. <clears throat> so I believe the game takes place at a certain point, which is known as the de uh, the death of Captain America. Of Captain America, and the game kind of revolves around that. So should be an interesting game. No, that isn't spoilers or anything like that. That is what we've already heard and seen in all of the trailers, marketing releases, everything they've spoken about the game. It's always the story they've mentioned is that, so. Ooh, very nice. I quite like this cap. A lot of people said when I saw this cap in person, a bit like when I saw the Iron Man and thought it was awfully skinny. People said I would take one look at the cap and think it wasn't very good, but I quite like this cap. This could be quite a decent cap if it was used as, like, not Steve Rogers' cap, and if he didn't have the shield, but if he had a proper gun, and actually used as, like, um... Like a... Like an, like a, like an enforcement version of Captain America that, that the police have, have trained up, you know what I mean? Like an alternative to cap. I'm loving that, that, that style of SWAT. It looks very police SWAT, doesn't it? Especially with the like the army lo sorry with the American flag logo there, that's very like reminiscent of the army to me. And I love the big star in the middle with the stripes there. Look, that's pretty cool how they've done that. They still got the things around for the gauntlets and so that. He's still using the straps from around the way around the wrist. And he's got a big belt there. Loving the nice big knee pads and the boots and stuff. Yeah, it's very light. It's like it's like a flat flat jacket, isn't it? It's like a flat jacket on as well. This is like an underlay which is like grey. I quite like it. And then the, even the helmet as well. The hat, the, the, the helmet is got the chin strap and everything. So that's very, again, SWAT inspired. It's got the little wings around the top part of the helmet as part of the design. It's a nice cap. Doesn't look like Steve. It doesn't scream Steve Rogers at me though. That, that's what I think people are getting at. It doesn't, it doesn't scream traditional cap. Like, if I saw this guy, I wouldn't think a help was coming. <laughs> I'd think terror was coming. <laughs> but imagine if you stuck, like, a, a, a decent gun in there and, and changed the other hand to another gun hand and used him as, a, like I said, like an alternative to cap. Almost like a US agent, almost. Okay, so let's take a look at articulation. So, the head is on a ball of giants, you can make him look up and down, as well as left and right. The arms will move this top hinge and do also rotate. There's also a double hinged elbows there, which are very nice. Yeah, that's double hinged, yeah, it's double hinged, is that? Just taking a while to activate the other hinge. And the hand is on a ball joint. There is a crunch there, it is, it is, ab it is abdomen, so you can crunch back and forth, as well as a waist swivel there. Legs do lift out all the way, which is nice, as well as forwards and backwards. Top thigh cut there, which sort of clicks as well, which is nice. Double hinge knee, so you can rotate the knee completely around. Again, very good. Uh, boot swivel as well, nice. And the feet are on rocker, pivot, and there are holes at the bottom of the feet to use a display base. Not that you're going to need to. This cap does feel com un comparable to the uh, Iron Man. This, this cap actually feels very sturdy, and you can hear it sort of clicking into place rather than just placing into place. Now guys, as of late I have been a little bit slower with my videos, in case you haven't noticed, I've been pumping them out a little bit slower. Um, that 
that's because I've been upgrading my setup. That's why I've not been using the uh, backgrounds and stuff as often. But as of tomorrow, that should all change. I'm getting a brand new lighting setup, so it'll be a lot brighter on the desk cam and stuff. And I'm hoping to film things from a down perspective, so you'll be able to see the figure more in the reviews. And rather than me doing this like on this camera, I'll be using the camera to point down here. Uh, it should be a lot nicer. So stay tuned for all of that good stuff. Like I said, that should start happening from tomorrow. So, very exciting. Just gotta change things up every now and again to make things enjoyable. You'll still get me on the camera, don't worry. I'll still do the intros, outros, and I'll still talk about the figure when I want to. But mainly you'll have seen a lot more of the figures and stuff, which I think's nice. So he has got the usual back part as well, guys. You see you can place the uh, shield on the back there, like so. Oh, it does stick up really far. Even if I rotate that around, it's still like it still seems like it's stuck up half a mile. <clears throat> so it does all come with the with the usual flip switch. It's got the hing there to stick in his back. If I rotate that round, it can put it on his hand and have that clip clip to him. This one actually feels a lot bigger than some of the other shields we've had previously. Uh, when you slap when you snap it around his wrist, the usual problem happens to me, and then it becomes very loose and unstable. So you're going to want to try and attach that to the actual... Um... Oh, you're going to break it though. Oh, that's a problem. If I try and attach it anywhere else, it just seems to stretch it. There we go. On the, on the, right, on the right arm, around the medium part of the gauntlet there, it seems to snap on okay. But if you stretch that any further, it's going to snap the hinges at the back and then you're going to be at square one without a, a shield. But the shield, like I say, it does feel awfully big. Let me compare that. I'm going to compare this. I've got the... Uh... I'll compare it on the desk cam, then you guys can see. So what I'll do is, guys, we'll go down to the desk cam to see an up-close personal look at, I, I, at Captain America. We'll compare it to some other figures in the range. And we'll also take a look at the shield and see if it's bigger than the other ones. So let's go down to the desk cam! So what they've done with the shields is, this: the new one is a lot more rounded. As you can see, it's a lot more of a dish sort of shape. Whereas this one's a little bit thinner, so th this one feels bigger because it's more rounded. And they've given it a more um, rounded part around this side here. It's a lot deeper than this one. So that's why it feels a lot different, whereas this one probably... Whoop. Whereas the, the, the Stan Lee one would probably... Uh, would probably actually uh, scale a lot better with the figure. But yeah, that stays with Stan. <laughs> that that one stays with Stan. So yeah, you, the dodgy cap gets dodgy shield. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get on reviewing the cap. All right, guys. Here is the Captain America figure yet again on the desk cam, so you guys can get an up close personal look here. It is very nice indeed. I am liking the way it looks. They have got a face, which is, the face is quite nicely detailed with nice eyes to that. It doesn't feel derpy or anything. Uh, although he has got one blue eye, one brown eye, by the looks of things on there. Let me get my let me get my eyes on that. No, the back can confirm they are both blue eyes, except one's this the right hand eye is a lot bluer than the left, giving it an appearance that one eye is really blue and the other eye is brown. Um, he does like to fall over. I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't like standing, and I've got him on quite a flat foot stance here. It's nothing too crazy. He just doesn't want to stand, which is really annoying. Um, like I said, the design of the figure itself is very unique and different compared to what we've had in the past. Like I said, I like some of the elements and features, like the way they've designed the armor. It's pretty cool. Um, this, like I said, it feels more of a police officer than it does a Captain America to me. Like, if he came with a Captain America inspired riot shield, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't bat an eyelid at that because it would look like it belonged with the figure. If you get what I mean. Um, it's just very, it's just very different design from what we used to. But maybe that's going, going to be part and parcel of the whole game, and we'll find out why there's changes. Because it's meant to be based on the comics and not the MCU, so I'm surprised they've not gone for a more traditional uh, cap look. They've gone for this more modernised, realistic look. So if we stand cap there as well, you can see we've got Iron Man for this range as well, who also doesn't like standing up. And then the comic book version of Captain Marvel. Some great figures in this line, guys. Just not everyone's cup of tea. Um, I didn't get the whole wave because I am waiting on the Age of Apocalypse wave to drop. And I've got so many pre-orders in. I just couldn't 
from looking at the figures in this wave, I couldn't justify the pre-order of the entire wave for this one. I, I, initially, I only had Captain Marvel on order. He was the only one I wanted in, in this entire wave. And then um, when they saw these ones, they were like, Meh, I might as well get the Cap and the Iron Man just to complete, you know, just to keep my run of Captain Iron Man. So I, I think I own every single version of them. So it's like, I may as well keep, you know, the, the, the new armour for the Iron Man so I can, create an, I can create a diorama of all his armours maybe one day. And I've got caps as well, they're always always useful. The shields and things, you can always use them for customs, so that's why I kind of went for it. And when I saw this up close, I quite, like I said, I quite like the armour. It's very different and unique, so definitely worth grabbing. But like I said, the whole wave, and for a bath that's just a redesigned version of a previous bath, I'm really not too bothered about that. Meh. So, we're looking forward now to the AOA wave, and of course, all the and that, that new Deadpool wave as well. But guys, we've still got so much more to review, and once we get this new review style set up, I will be pumping out video after video after video. So stay tuned, guys, there's going to be a lot of content coming your way this week. And once we've reviewed all this, we've got all this to review. And once that's empty, we've got another box full. So plenty of toys to be reviewing. There's a lot of loose stuff to get through, as well as new box stuff. And new stuff is arriving each and every single day, as you know. I do get a lot of stuff delivered. So... Stay tuned for some amazing content. If you're new around here, guys, you've just seen all that stuff that's coming up, make sure you smash subscribe. That's one way of ensuring that you don't miss out on all this awesome content. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this cap? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, then please make sure you smash that like button. That just indicates to YouTube that you did enjoy this video and it'll help get it to other, to other people to see. And as well, if you are new around here or if you just haven't been um, subscribed, make sure you please subscribe. It's free to do and it really helps me out. On my analytics, it does tell me that 76% of my watchers aren't subscribed. Imagine, imagine if 76% of my subscribers were subscribed, imagine what, what, what the subscribe number would be. It'd be insane, I'd be able to get a lot more, um, a lot more doors would open, let's put it that way, and we'd be able to do more things on this channel. So if you can subscribe guys, if you've got a, a, a Google account, please go ahead and you know subscribe to the Super Soul channel. It's free to do, it doesn't cost anything. <clears throat> I'm not one of these YouTubers that has a Patreon or anything like that. I do just go off the, the, the ad set and stuff I get here from Google, so. If you could subscribe, that would really help us out, guys. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll be—I'm your host, Super Soul, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. May the force be with you.